Oh, you're just going to blow your nose the whole time? I introduced myself as Tyler Specht to all of my friends. It's cool. We can do it again. It's cool. Why do I pay you? I don't pay him. <laughs> Today we're going to be going over the sharpen effect, which is completely counterproductive to the last six videos we've done where we've blurred. So that's going to be fun. We're going to undo some of the stuff we've done. Don't use them both at the same time because I already feel like I'm wasting my time going over blur and sharpen. You're gonna go to your effects panel. You're gonna type in sharpen, grab that effect, throw it on the clip you wanna sharpen, and then go to your effects control panel and then you have sharpen amount. It goes from zero to 4,000, but we're gonna stay under 30 because once you start going too much, it looks terrible. You can use it as an artistic styling, but not, it doesn't look good. It just really doesn't look good. It starts looking overly non-real and it, it really pronounces every little detail. What sharpening is doing is basically taking your white points, your black points, finding the contrasting area and making it really prominent. So for instance, if I put my hand up like this on a background that's like darker, you'll see that gap a lot more and which can be really great if you forgot like to fix your focus right before you start shooting and it's not autofocus or your autofocus messed up you can use a little bit of it bring it back and focus to an extent it doesn't save you completely but it makes it a little better if you go up to maybe like 25. if you do too much like i said looks terrible or the way we can use it is to uh deep fry myself so you can make lasers shoot out your eyes if you throw it up to 4,000 and make you, you can just, it's fun. Really sharpen is counterproductive to blur. Don't use them both. Overall, sharpen's a very simple effect to use. Not much to it. You have one effect control slider. It's very simple, very quick. That's why this video is very quick. I want to leave you with one thing. Remember, be very, very careful when you sharpen. Always use your protective gear. And we'll see you next week.